Good morning, second grade. Let's start with reviewing some phonograms that we'll need for our words today. The first one is er the er of her. What are you going to write? Good, er the er of her. Say it while you write it. All right, put your finger under the, the phonogram you just wrote. What does it say? Good, er, the er, of, her. All right, the next one is k, two letter k, used only after a single vowel that says a, a, i, a, or a. What are you going to write? Good, k, two letter k. Write it and say it while you write it. All right, put your finger under the phonogram you just wrote. What is it? Good. K. Two letter k. Use after a single vowel that says a, 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 or a. All right. Our last one is a, u, u, u. What are you going to write? Good. A, u, u, u. Say it while you write it. All right, put your finger under that phonogram you just wrote. What does it say? Good, uh, you, you, boy. Okay, those are the only ones we have in our spelling, or the only ones I thought that might be tricky that we have in our spelling words today. Let's go ahead and review a couple more. Um, let's see, let's do two letter. Go ahead and write it and say it while you write it. All right, class, what did you write? Good. Two letter. All right, next let's do ah that we do use at the end of English words. What are you going to write? Good, ah that we do use at the end of English words. Write it and say it while you write it. Put your finger under that phonogram you just wrote. What does it say? Good, ah, uh, that we do use at the end of English words. That's our ah uh, that we do use. If you didn't have it, write it and say it while you write it. All right, class, our first word is kick. What's the word? Good, kick. I will kick the ball when it comes to me, kick. What sounds do you hear in the word kick? Good, it's k, e, k. All right, our first k is line letter k. Why do we have to use the line letter k here? Say it with me. C followed by E, I, or Y says s. All right, so if we had a C here, it wouldn't say k. So we need to use good line letter k. And then our last k is two letter k. What's our last k? Great, two letter k. Write it and say it while you write it. All right, class, put your finger under the first phonogram in the word you just wrote. What does it say? Good, it's k, but which k is it? Good, line letter k. What's next? Good, i, and good. Which k is it? Great, k, two letter k, used after a single vowel that says a, e, i, 
or a. So make sure your word looks like mine. And let's mark it. Good, we need to underline our two letter k. Let's read our word. Excellent. All right. Our next word is soccer. What's the word class? Good, soccer. Soccer. Let's see. I grabbed the soccer ball and ran home. Soccer. Soccer is a two-way word to spell it. We say sock-cur. How do we say it to spell it? Good, sock-cur. How many syllables are in sock-cur? Show me. Good, there are two syllables. All right, our first syllable is sock. What's the first syllable? Good, sock. What sounds do we hear in the syllable sock? Good, it's s-a-k. All right, let's try and do both syllables together. The second syllable is cur. What's the second syllable? Good, cur. What sounds do we hear in that syllable? Good, it's k, er. We're going to use er, the er of her. All right, and for our k, the two k's we have, we're going to use what we usually use if I don't tell you to use anything else. All right, so write the sounds in sock, ker, and say them while you write them. All right, put your finger under that first phonogram in the word we just wrote. What does it say? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Good. And which er is it? Good. Er, the er of her. All right, so make sure your word looks like mine. All right, so this one is kind of a, a funny word. It's a two-way word because we, we say a k in both syllables, even though we don't hear it when we're saying that. The reason is that this k protects this other k from saying its second sound, remember? C followed by E, I, or Y says s, usually. So if we only had one, then this E would make this say s and say its second sound. So we've got a silent one in here, and that protects this, our first k s from saying its second sound. So that's why this is a two-way word. All right, let's mark it. This one we're not going to double underline. How about this one? Good, so this is our silent one. And it's just there, right? It's protecting this, keeping it from saying its second sound. And how about this? Good. We underline our er, the er of her. All right, let's read our words, or say our sounds and put them together. Excellent. All right, our next word is basketball. What's the next word? Good. Basketball. I am not very good at playing basketball. All right, put your hand on your chin. Oh wait, before we do that, this is a compound word. Right, earlier last year, we learned the word ball. So we're gonna take basket and ball and slam them together to make the compound word basketball. All right, put your hand on your chin. How many syllables are in basketball? Say it and show me. Good, there are three syllables in basketball. The first one is bass. What's the first syllable? Good, bass. What sounds do you hear in that syllable? Good, ba, a, s. Go ahead and write that first syllable. Put your syllable break at the end.
All right, our second syllable is ket. What's our second syllable? Good, ket. What sounds do we hear in the syllable ket? Good, it's k, e, t. We have to use line letter k. Say with me why we have to use line letter k. C followed by E, I, or Y says s. All right, so we've got to use what for our k? Good, line letter k. So write that second syllable, ket. All right, our third syllable is ball. What's our third syllable? Good, ball. And that's just the second part of our compound word. What sounds do we hear in the word ball? Good, it's b, a, o. But wait a minute, our a is a, a, a. And in our word basketball, we use our floss rule. Well, I'm glad this came up because it hasn't come up yet. Our floss rule is we often double F, L, or S after a single vowel at the end of a one-syllable word. Can you say that with me? We often double F, L, or S after a single vowel at the end of a one-syllable word. Basketball isn't one syllable, but ball is. And so in that part of our compound word, we use our floss rule. All right, so for our last syllable ball, we're going to write good, b, a, o, o, but our a is a, a, a. All right, write that last syllable and say it while you write it. All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in the word we just wrote. What does it say? Good. Good. All right, and which k is it? Good, line letter k. Which A do we use? Good at A A. All right, so make sure your word looks like mine. And let's mark it. All right, what are the three sounds of this phonogram? Good, a, 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 and saying a, ah. so we've got to put a little three on top. All right, and we don't mark it when we have our floss rule. All right, let's say the sounds and put our word together. Good, basketball. All right. Now, I should have said at the beginning, sometimes we say it like it's a two-way word, basketball, basketball. So we want to remember to spell it, we say basketball. All right, but if we're saying basketball, which phonogram is going to get our thinking cap? I'll give you a hint. It's in the second syllable. Excellent job if you said e. All right, so to spell this, we need to say, say it with me, basketball. But sometimes when we're speaking, it sounds like more like basketball. All right, the next word is lost. What's the word? Good. My favorite team lost the game. Lost. What sounds do you hear in the word lost? Good, our sounds are o, a, Write those sounds and say them while you write them. All 
All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in lost. What does it say? Good. Make sure yours looks like mine. All right, let's read our word. Excellent. The next word is rule. What's the word? Yes. Um, we have a rule about when we use line letter k. Well, not, we have a rule about when we use two letter k right? Only after a single vowel that says a, ah, a, ah, i, eh, ah, or a. Ah. All right, rule. What sounds do you hear in the word rule? Good. Our sounds are r, u, ol. But wait, our u is a, u, u, u. What are we going to use that will make our a, uh, u, u, u say u? Nice job if you said silent final E. Job one. That's what we're going to use. Remember, a U U U has a name, which is U. It also has a nickname, so it has two names pretty much. Its nickname is U. And so our silent final E can make our a U U U say either its name or its nickname. All right. Write the sounds in rule and say them while you write them. All right, put your finger under that first phonogram in the word you just wrote. What does it say? Good. U. U, which U is it? Good. U, uh, U, U. Good. We need that silent final E job one. So our, this can say its nickname. All right, let's mark it. Good, this is saying ew, rule. So we're gonna underline it. It's also going to get a three, remember, because that is its third sound, but it's still one of its names. So when this is saying its third sound, it gets an underline and a three on top. How about this? Excellent and good. We're gonna double underline our silent final E. All right, let's read our word. Good. The last word is rules. What's the word? Good, rules. We had to follow the rules when we were playing the game. Rules. All right, wait a minute. Rule means just one. What's our fancy word for just one thing? All right, great work if you said singular. Rules is, that's more than one. What's our fancy word in English for more than one? Excellent, it's plural. So to make most of our singular nouns plural, what do we add? Good, we just add s, z. All right, we're going to do the same thing for rules. So what are we going to write to spell rules? All right. And what's going to make this say ew? Good. Silent final E. And then what do we need to add? Good. S, z. So write the sounds in rules and say them while you write them. All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in the word you just wrote. What does it say? Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, and we've been talking before about certain times that we need to drop our silent final E. 
That's only when we're adding a vowel suffix. Is this guy a vowel? It's not, it's a consonant. So that's why we're keeping that silent final E on there. We would only drop it if we were adding a vowel suffix, a suffix that starts with the vowel. All right, let's mark our word. Show me how we're gonna mark this. Good, it gets both of those things because it's saying it's nickname. How about this? Good, this guy. So we're gonna double underline our silent final E job one. And then how about this? Is it saying it's first or second sound? Rules, excellent. It's saying it's second sound. Right, so we're gonna put a little two right on top of it there. All right, let's read our word. All right, nice job class. I'll see you in our next video.